This is Andy Pilwell for Boxing News. I'm joined by Galal Yafar here in Birmingham. Galal, it's good to see you. How are you feeling? You're only a day and a half away now. Yeah, not too bad now. Um, what, we're on Thursday, so yeah, I've got to do the press conference in a bit. Um, waiting tomorrow and then it's fight night then. How excited are you for this fight now? Everybody's talking about bloodline, the family history, but this is the biggest fight of your career so far. This is a fight which, by all accounts, done seven odd thousand tickets in Birmingham. We, as Eddie said, haven't had those numbers since Amir Khan fought here. It's a huge night ahead for yourself. Yeah, huge night, and you know, I'm listen. I'm here to fight. I don't, I don't care about anything other than that. Um, yeah, it's great. We've got loads of people there, loads of tickets. Um, people are interested, which is something I'm probably not used to as much because I'm fighting in America against South Americans. People don't really, really give a shit. Um, but I'm fighting Sunny Edwards. He's someone people know. Um, he's, he's a good name and he's a good dance partner. So, what better, what better fight to be in than someone like that? We've been used to Galal seeing Sunny box on the back foot throughout his career. I don't know whether he'd like me saying that, but using his, his boxing skill set a bit more. More recently, he's maybe stood and traded more than what we've been used to. How do you see him approaching his fight? How do you see this fight playing out? You know what? I have no idea. I wish I knew. Um, I've said before, if only I knew, I probably wouldn't train as hard. Um, because if I knew I was going to win, I wouldn't train as hard. If I knew I was going to lose again, I wouldn't train as hard. So I have no idea. Um, yeah, we can all gauge and think he's going to move and try and box, which is probably realistic. But I'm prepared for anything. Just a couple I want to get your thoughts on. Um, Sonny's cut. Is that something you're thinking about? Something you want to try and open up? <laughs> nah, it's, you know what? It's, whatever happens in the fight happens in the fight. I'm, I'm not going into camp thinking about a cut that could open or whatnot because I could get a cut. Um, so now nah, I don't think about any of that. I think about me being a better man and, and that's it. Throughout your career, obviously, you've had Rob McCracken in his corner. He spent a large part of his career with Grant Smith. He's not there now. Do you think that might play a part in not having somebody who spent so long together working with him for this fight? Probably not. Um, if it does go in my favour, then brilliant. If not, I, do, it, I, I, want, a, I want a good Sonny Edwards where there's no excuses. Um, you know, I think Sonny's good enough and experienced enough now to know how to fight on himself. Um, it's going to mean him in a ring anyway, so I think I think it'll be uh, I think it'll be fun about him. That's one from me, Galal. What happens on Saturday night? I wish I knew. Um, all I can say is. Tune in, it's going to be a great fight. I'm going to squeeze one more. The altercation between everyone yesterday, do you know what happened? Just, just play out, it's just silly. Um, you know, sometimes people want to get in the limelight, sometimes, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Thank you, Galat. Thank you, cheers.